Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at a Funko item. However, it is not a Funko Pop. It is actually a Pop Pin. Um, and I saw that these were released some months back. And I think they're just starting to filter through stores. Um, this is one of the items that I found in Texas at one of the larger game stops that they have there. Um, and they kind of just have the first wave out right now. Um, but yeah, I, I picked up Princess Leia because she was interesting and I don't have any Leia Pops. Um, really so I really um, first off just like the packaging so it's like in a thin box you know with the Funko line they really or Funko brand rather um, they like to make their stuff very displayable within the packaging so I appreciate that um, this is part of the pop section of Funko a pop pin specifically um, and I think that they're doing these on a couple of other figures not just Star Wars um, but yeah I found when I was there I found Leia and Han Solo Leia is number one. I think Han Solo was number two. Um, it's in gold here, or maybe a bronze. It uh, looks nice. Black packaging with a white border. Looks really good. I like this Leia here. And they have her silver outlines to show that she's a pin and not a Funko Pop. Um, on the back, you can see the whole wave. And then there is a Chase Greedo, which is, I think, all green and sparkly, which is kind of cool. And I doubt I'll ever find that one. Um, one thing that I did want to point out that I thought was interesting is Princess Leia. So, oh, Han Solo was number three. Princess Leia and Darth Vader, so one and two are the new designed Star Wars Pops, and Han Solo and Greedo, number three and four, are the old designed Funko Pops. I thought that was like really kind of weird. Why Why would they do that? I don't know. That's just something kind of interesting. Um, and it also says a removable stand is included, so you can display this outside of the box. Um, you've got a Funko logo down here, and then ages 14 plus. So looks really nice on the side, Princess Leia number one. I really like this like shiny shiny font, um, kind of like a bronzy color. And then on the top, just like they do the Funko Pops, you see the top of the pin. So very cool. Let's go ahead and open it up and we will take a closer look. Okay, um, I did want to mention that the packaging for the pin inside is like this like kind of velvety, kind of nice. I'm a little bit surprised. So here is the Leia pin um, herself, and I do want to go, before we go into the detail about this pin, mention that these guys are only $15, $15.99, which is relatively inexpensive for a pin this large. Usually pins like this are around $30, and so um, I am pleasantly surprised by that. She looks really cool. If you don't know, this is, it looks to me like Leia in the trash compactor because she's got that, that bar that helps prop open the door. Not sure why they chose to do that one specifically, um, but yeah, they did. And I am actually taken aback by this because I thought that the whole pin was gonna be plastic and it's definitely not, and I don't know if I like that or not. So um, just giving you a closer look, her hair is somewhat like flocked. Hopefully you can see that, which I think is nice, that's fine, the flock is fine. And then her uh, face looks to be some sort of like acrylic finish, not maybe acrylic, but um, what do they call that? Maybe a, a resin finish. And then her body, and I don't know how to explain it, but maybe you can tell by the detail of her dress, it is not plastic and it's not flocked. It's like a like faux leather, kind of, just stuck in here. And I really don't like that. I actually think that that is gonna be something that would eventually peel away from the pin. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but it, it reminds me of like a faux leather and it's kind of printed in some details. Um, the staff and her shoes are also in that like resin overlay. Overall, it looks really good, but I was not expecting the multiple medias on this pin. So we have the flocked hair, which is cool. And then we have this like faux leather kind of designed dress really really odd to me but I mean it looks fine um, they do allow you to display this pin with the little it, it comes with a stand on the back here's the back of the pin which is really interesting it does say Funko uh, 2020 so new for this year and then it's got the Funko logo crowns all over the back so you can't mistake it um, on top of the stand or on the bottom rather there's another crown just so I guess you can't mistake it for anything else um, and then you've got three three pin backs, which is nice. It's a good amount of pin backs there um, in case you want to display it on like a jacket or a piece of clothing or what have you. Um, really cool. Um, the pin spokes look pretty sturdy, but again, if you poke this into a lot of stuff, sometimes those spokes do become um, not very good. And it looks like the stand is nice. I think they call it a removable stand because you can pinch it and remove it. Um, so that's cool if you want to just like wear it on like a jacket or a vest or something or maybe on a backpack. And it is relatively easy to get back in and it does fold flat. 
and it technically doesn't really impair the display of the figure other than you can see the bar right here but overall i think it looks really good the crowns on the back are really interesting disney i think was the first one to stamp their pin backs like this but they did them obviously with mickey heads um and funko's making sure that they can't rip get ripped off of course this is just so iconically Funko, but really interesting. Um, I kind of feel like I have a little bit of mixed emotions with this. It's a decent price. I'm not complaining about the price because if you're into pin collecting, $15.99 is pretty fair for this large of a pin. But I don't like the media on the dress, this kind of like faux fabric. -y. I mean, if I scratch it with my nail, I would probably ruin it, um, is, is how I feel. The, the flocked hair is fine, except flocking sometimes, if it's used too much, will just wear off. So this is definitely going to be one I'm going to display in the package because I thought the packaging looked so cool. But I mean, I like the overall look of it. It's just kind of interesting and, and a lot of what I was not expecting. So um, that's basically it for this Funko pop pin. Um, don't know if I'll pick up any more of these. We will see. It will be a mystery to us all. Um, if I ever find some more, I think I'd like to get the Darth Vader one. That one looked pretty dang cool. And then the Chase Greedo or just Greedo would be cool. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm curious um, y'all's thoughts. And um, as always, stay tuned for more videos. I always have them coming. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.